After playing for a long time, it's very clear to me that two of the roles that most players don't like to play in solo queue are Roma and EXP. If you're still uncomfortable playing the EXP lane, I will highly recommend just playing Hilda at first. Fight. Fight for the ultimate the enemy. She's one of the easiest to play, but at the same time, she can become an absolute nightmare to the opponent's damage dealers. She can sustain a lot, have good mobility, and can definitely smash the living hell out of her targets. I would recommend building her with 2 or 3 offensive items, Blade of Heptasis, Malefi Roar, and maybe Blade of Despair. Then for the rest of her build, build her some tanky items. Those defensive items will vary and depend on the opponent's composition. If your matchup is not a huge threat in the early game, you can definitely cut the lane like this. There are a few EXP heroes that you probably don't want to do this against. I think some of them will be Jawhead, Thamos, Dyroth, Yuzon, Masha and Khalid. They can inflict a lot of damage right from the start of the match. Good thing our jungler noticed that I caught the lane and took advantage of it. Nice, our jungler is way ahead now. Oof, unfortunately got too greedy at the end or else this game will probably be over already. I'm gonna clear the jungle as much as I can to deny farm from the jungler. I never had this matchup before, which is why I really underestimated Ida's damage during the laning phase. I thought that as long as she doesn't have her passive fully charged, she wouldn't hurt as much. How wrong I was. I truly did not expect that damage from her in the early game, but at least we have learned our lesson. If you see your opponents cutting the lane and there's not much you can do to punish him for that, then you should do the same. Just gonna dodge your dash first and then proceed to go for the kill. 
remember that you want to mark the opponents as much as you can before ulting, because each stack lowers the target's defense. If the target is fully marked, then the ult will get an additional 20% of the target's max HP. Nope, I've learned my lesson. Free. Another great thing about Hilda is that she can move around the map extremely fast. Somehow, we lost this team fight really badly, even though we had such a great opening. I will not dishonor the name you gave me. When you see that your opponents are busy somewhere else, make sure to take advantage of that and take objectives. Them. Clean really penetrates really hard with all those penetration items. I'm gonna ult first, so you won't have time to cast his ult. Okay, maybe we troll a little bit too much here. Objective Gaming
I did see Clint coming towards me, but my dumb brain thought I would have enough time to clear this before he reached me. Just a brain fart moment. Four of them are dead, and in 15 seconds they will be back. We have two options here, take the lore or try to push now and take at least one of their inhibitors. Both choices seems to be solid. Maybe I can try to lower the lore's HP as much as possible while they take down the inhibitors, so in the end we can get everything. Well, at least let's get the Lord. Somehow our Hayabusa die as well. Our turret has been we might be in a little bit of trouble if this keeps happening. We gotta start prioritizing targets. Icefield warriors, don't bring shame upon our ancestors' glory. Our turret has been destroyed. Calling Natalia. Our Nathan has been trying to split push the bottom lane throughout the whole game, but I guess his dedication paid off in the end. Victory! Also, after this game, I'll probably try to play Edith. 
She seems pretty decent right now. That's all for this video and thanks for watching. See ya.